guys for joining me for a quick tutorial on how to add a form onto your website using Flowdesk. So today I'm going into one of my clients um, Flowdesk account because I am setting up her back office systems and so one of the things that I will be doing is adding a form into her website. So first things first, we are now in the Flowdesk um, platform. This is her dashboard for all her emails. So I'm going to click over here to forms. Um, but first, before I do that, if you do not already have an audience set up, you definitely want to click here first and go to audience and then segments and then make sure that you have a segment set up. I already set up this one that says website so she knows that anyone that subscribes on her website is going to go into here and then ultimately it will be in the all subscribers. So once I've done that, I'm going to click on over here to form and this is the form that I've created but because um, I want to show you guys how I created that form, I'm going to go ahead and click on create new. So when you click on create new, it's going to give you all of these different options. So you can either do browse all, the pop-up form, inline form, or full page. I'm going to do an inline form because this is going to be at the bottom of her page. So typically I would use this type of inline form if it was in the middle of the website. But because this is going to be in the contact me area, I chose to use this particular one. So once I've selected which one, I've chosen which one I want to go with, I'm going to hit customize. Now, remember I said that you wanted to set up your segment, this is why. It's going to automatically opt into whatever segment once they do this. So because I did set up the website opt-in ahead of time segment, I want to click on the website and hit save. So now I have this blank form that I'm going to use. Um, you're able to go ahead and start clicking in here and customizing it. So you want to add a photo right there. In order to do that, I'll just click upload image. Now I could change this box to either be a square or a circle or keep it um, as a rectangle. I think I might change it now to this particular square. So I'm going to hit upload image. Like all images and go ahead and locate come on computer um, the image that I want to use there for her um, opt-in form and it's coming I saw it you know quick the last time so I was thinking that was going to be real quick to select it again, but maybe not. So, let me just go back up here one more time. So, I'll take the image that I want to use. And it's not going to be as quick as it was the last time. Oh, okay. yeah. That's the only reason I didn't move it over ahead of time because I just knew it was going to be quick to find this particular image. And I think it's not. So I'm just going to select a random image for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to put this image here. Um, the image that I want to use is in the one that I'm actually using. So there we go. Um, and then you notice that this little triangle part is here. I don't want it to be that color. Um, I can also change it to where it's waves or it's nothing at all. I'm going to put the triangle back there. And then I want to change the image. Um, I do know, I think I know her. <laughs> no, uh, yep, that's it her uh, color code. So I'm going to enter that there and select that as the color that I want to be here. So now you see right here with the font that you can't really see it. So I'm going to click on that box that has the font and I'm going to click here where it has the color gray right there and select black because I want it to show up. Here you can just select um, the text and make it whatever text that you want to be. So you can say keep and touch whatever you want to put there. 
um, and then whatever you want to put here as well. Now in this box, you'll see that it says first name and then say email address. I want to change that because I want people to really see whatever that says. So I'm going to click in the box, select the word font, click on the color, and change that to black. So it changes that as well. Now if I wanted to change this box, I could also. So I could change the font color, I mean the fill color, the border color. I can change how um, this image looks so I can make it, you know, circular or keep it just like that. Um, I can go over to font and I can change the color there as well. I'm not going to make any changes there, but those are just some options for you. The other thing I like about it is right now we're in desktop preview mode, but you can also click on the preview mode for your cell phone and you can select how that image is going to look um, on your phone. So this is how it'll look. It'll come up just like this if this was on your phone. So we're gonna go back to editing. Now let's just say this is exactly how I want it to be. This is everything that I wanted to say. I wanna click on next. Now here is gonna ask you, should we notify you when a subscriber opts in? I always choose yes, notify me because I wanna know. But if you're one of those people who don't wanna know, you can click on no, do not notify. Hit continue. Now, this is a good space right here if you wanted this to route to another place. So let's just say after they subscribe, you want them to go to maybe a lead magnet page or maybe a free download or something like that. You could do that um, by hitting redirect subscriber to a URL. And you can absolutely do that there. For this um, tutorial, we're just gonna keep it at this place that says message. So it'll just say thank you for subscribing. You hit continue. So now here you have all of these codes and you're like, I don't know which one I'm supposed to use. This is what I do. I scroll down to advanced options, click on get raw HTML code. I click next and then I copy this code right here. So now that I have that code, I'm gonna click finish. It should bring me back to here. But because I don't want this to be the one that I'm using, I want this to be the one, I'm going to click here and hit edit and copy that code all over again. So you guys will see the correct one um, on her website. And it's a good um, view of what I just did for that tutorial. So now that I'm over here on the website, um, and you guys know that I primarily use Wix. So um, in Wix, I'll just go over here to add. And if you click on more, you'll see a section that says custom embed. So I want to do a HTML frame, iframe. I want to click that. Move that box down just a little bit. Enter code. Because I have the code, I'm gonna enter that right here and hit apply. So now that I have it in there, you're like, wait, it's not showing the full thing. No worries, I'm just gonna stretch this out and fix it. And that is it, you guys. Very simple, very easy. And now that I have this in here, I might switch this over to the other code that um, I want so that way it has the contrast of the different colors on there. But basically, that's all you would do. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Put them down in the comments um, and let me know whatever questions. If you're interested in um, purchasing the system suite, definitely reach out to me. Um, and I'll drop a link for my website so you can purchase the system suite. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.